Hey guys, my name is Grace and I decided to do this video because I woke up today overthinking about everything, overthinking about life and I'm even overthinking what um what kind of video I should put out on my on the channel if I should if I can, should continue doing doing some readings like there's so many opportunities and I'm just overwhelmed and I thought you probably are probably undergoing the same thing and I thought um I'm overthinking what to put out on the channel so why not do it as a reading um in that way I'll be able to have a guide um guidance from for myself and at the same time hopefully help other people who are going through the same thing so i thought <laughs> that's a really good idea like okay so i have feathers here <laughs> um if you feel guided to pick this one this will be the um card set number one and for number two, this will be the blue one here. So, this one or this one? Which one you feel guided to? <laughs> I don't know why I use the feathers, but that's just why I feel guided to. So, we'll do this first one first. I'm gonna do it freestyle, so just bear with me in that. Alright, just leave it there. there. <laughs> okay. I'm still using my same three decks here. If you have any suggestions on decks that I... Um, you know, just suggestions on decks. New decks. I feel guided to ask you for suggestions to buy what new deck I should buy. And the first one that will suggest a deck, I will buy it. So, okay, <laughs> that's very random, but here we go. Why are you overthinking? Oops, okay, first card. I've got this for myself too. Five of Swords in reverse. So, why are you overthinking? You're overthinking because you are probably stuck in... A way of thinking that no actually so there's this way of thinking that you have in your mind but now things many many things have changed in your life that made you um, change your way of thinking like made you see things clearly for what they truly are so now you're looking at your life and you now see like those things that you and don't <laughs> those things and actions that you're doing before doesn't resonate with this like with, with this new kind of thinking that you have now like the a certain kind of facade has been lifted a certain illusion has been has been lifted in your life so that's why you're overthinking because you know you or you know you now know the truth about things. It's like for example, <laughs> you go vegan and now you you've seen all these videos and the reality of things. Now you can't just um you're overthinking if you should you should eat a eat eat a meat eat dairy or eggs like you don't want to support that um i don't know if it, this is a good example but that's just what i thought <laughs> you don't want to support those things anymore because you know what what happens behind the scenes now so it's like that in whatever shape or form in your life you now see clearly so now you're now overthinking whether you still should do the same thing and keep living the same life even though you already see the truth now so 
very random with the five of swords and you probably are thinking that you know you might hurt other people for changing the way of living that you are but it feels like you're not resonating with the way that you are living so you um you have to go with the changes flow with the changes that has happened into your life those changes i feel like they might be unexpected and uh, wow i don't know i was just channeling that anyway we have with page of pentacles in reverse so hmm hmm okay whenever i see page of pentacles it's ideas 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 on how to move forward how to start new things but you're stuck on starting new things you're start eh, you're stuck on um on these new ideas in your mind like um you have so many ideas but you're stuck on just having those ideas you're you're not taking any action on that on them because I feel like you're overthinking. Most obviously, you're overthinking. That's why you're watching this video. And that's why you're confused. And you cannot start on those things. Those many ideas that you have in your mind. But whatever those ideas, it's something tangible. It's something maybe career related. Like money or finances related to. Because it's a page. And... um I also got that for some people it could be related to some 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 those kind those business career um it might be related to communication because it's a page or like it could be communication like online or it could be social media or like a website or something <laughs> It's just very random, but um, I feel like that would resonate with some people. And then, what else? Why are we overthinking? Mm, okay, so I have two cards here that came up. Because of overthinking, obviously, there's no moving forward. You feel like something needs to happen first before you move forward into to this. That's why this King of Pentacles... Eh, I don't know why I cannot speak clearly. Um, that's why this King of Pentacles is still in reverse. King of Pentacles, this is what you want to embody. Um, whether you're the energy of a King of Pentacles. This is... Um, I feel like... This is similar to the queen, but this is more like masculine energy. And we all have, um, it doesn't matter the gender, we all have a masculine and feminine energy within us anyway. So, um, I just feel like this is like someone that is very goal-oriented, someone who provides, someone who's self-sufficient to someone that is just comfortable financially sitting on a throne and um you know confident grounded person like a leader this is like a being a boss this can be really entrepreneurship like being your own boss too so because you're overthinking, obviously there's no moving forward and and you feel like you have to um, wait for something to happen first. Like, wait for something to be out of your life first before you move forward. And I feel like that shouldn't be the case. You should actively remove the blockage yourself and also... Um, you that that way of thinking that that you should wait for something first before you do anything is not the way to go. I just watched a video today, a reading. I think it's from Rainbow Harmony because I follow her too. Um, 
she said something about Dorin virtue and it's basically um going doing like for example you're waiting for your finances you're waiting for the money the thing is um Dorin virtue said that you should take action first and then money will follow money will come take action first set up whatever that is needed in whatever um career i really do feel it's about career or business that you want set up that website set up that um just just do something <laughs> and the right people and the right um obviously put yourself out there too just do something um, you feel guided to um but the, the right people and just the right resources will come at the right time when you need them you will be always provided okay <laughs> what else Six of Cups. I'll get the cards first before I explain it. Okay, Page of Cups. All right. Now we're, we're, look, we're seeing emotions here. King of Wands and at the bottom of the deck, this one is King of Wands and we have the Hierophant. So, I don't know, we, we have like really masculine energies with this. So we have the King of Wands, the underlying issue here, the underlying thing. We have here the King of Wands. And I feel like this is what you, what, what you want to embody. And also, I'm getting for some people, it's also someone that have had influence in them. Um, some form of... Um, it could be... It could just like a male figure in your life. It could be a father, it could be a boss, someone that is significant in your life, that has a significance in your life, that is affecting this. You probably are overthinking because of that, or you probably want to live up to the, an expectation of someone. Like, you see them as really, like for some people, you want to live up to the to the expectation for some people you see it you see this as someone that is um like really powerful and like you're looking up to this person but at the same time you feel insecure because you feel like you will not be like them like I don't know why I'm getting that, but it could be a specific message for someone. It could just be that you just want to embody this person like you have so much passion. You just want to take action. But what's blocking the way is that you're probably have this like perfectionism for some people i'm getting i'm getting so much so many things um for some people it's it's um you want to be this king of wands king of wands is someone that is a leader like you have that this that in your mind that standard in your mind that a leader has to be like this has to be like that so you're overthinking that 
And the king of wands is someone that is a leader, but at the same time, so it's someone who leads and they vibrate this energy that makes other people are other people drawn to them. Like is it's it's someone that is really good leader. And you probably have some in insecurities behind those. Yeah. But I feel like you're a talented creative person at the same time. You just need to cultivate that. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know, that's why I like doing this freestyle because, I don't know, I just get so much things. Hmm. Six of Cups. So, with this one, um, you're still looking back in the past. Whatever has happened in the past, whatever this is, as I was ex explaining with this one, like... That a veil has been lifted, an illusion, something that happened in it's related to something that happened in the past. And for some people, you still cannot let go of that. You're still holding on to that. But see, you want to have a fresh, fresh start. Some things you cannot carry towards this new beginning. It's just not going to happen. So you're still like submerged in those emotions. But basically, it's like really emotionally connected to you. And you're still remembering those. And that's why it's, it's like at the back of your mind. So it keeps on whenever you want to make a new a decision on something. It just keeps on popping up in your mind like, it's affecting the way you decide things. And then I have here the Page of Cups. That's why you need to do some self-healing. This is a time of healing for you. Because I have here the Page of Pentacles in reverse. That's why you cannot, um, you're not able to take action. Like tangible ac uh, action towards, towards these tangible things that you want to manifest. It's because um, you not haven't taken the time to be embody this page of cups and um, focus on your what you're really passionate about, like really and really it's about healing those whatever this has happened in you, that you're still remembering from the past. I feel like it's not all bad memories. There's it's good memories too. I don't think it's bad, but it's just that you, it doesn't, you've grown so much, it doesn't really resonate with you anymore, and it's probably something that has ended. Um, it could also be related to a relationship or something with the, f most probably a fire sign with the king of wands here. Doesn't have to be, but really someone that you're really passionate about. So you have read the knight of wands. This is just someone that is like behind the scenes, just observing. And um, this is just someone that's, that's waiting to take action. It's like you're waiting just for the, that right time. And um, once you see that right time, once you have that go signal, and you do it. And I feel like for some people, this is your go signal. Whatever it is you're thinking in your mind, um you already know what you want and when you look inside in your mind and be in this like meditative mode you know you know what you want and i feel like this is a good signal to just go for it i have here the hero fund i feel like for some people you're um you're worried about what other people might think of you, you probably have held this a certain reputation. So if you start something or just the people around you or society, if you're starting something that is um that might seem absurd to other people because you're the first one that's doing it, like a certain business, like 
just you're just overthinking what other people might think of you if you do this certain thing um especially if this like if it's like for example some sort of like um psychic thing or like a tarot tarot thing then you know you've you you just fear some people might judge you um that would not resonate with anyone but i don't know why i picked that as an example so what's the advice Ooh, okay two cards fell out okay all right okay so we have your focus and service and um whatever this you're thinking about um yeah it's being of service to other people so your soul desires only to joyfully serve and to swim in a constant stream of please. This stream continuously feeds you everything you need. Put your entire focus upon staying in this stream of giving and receiving in every situation and in all that you do. So for me, I feel like this is just a message that focus on your soul desires and um, focus on service and uh, pro probably whatever this project that you're thinking on it's you feel like this is aligned to your soul's purpose like you're serving a certain kind of purpose but you probably just overthinking it obviously and <laughs> because you clicked on this video and um yeah all you have to do is like get on that horse metaphorical horse and um whatever you need like this stream continuously feeds you everything you need and everything you need will be given to you at the right time I feel like yeah it goes hand in hand with the message that I already said all you have to do is is just take action on that and then we have here the ocean um because we have here the knight of wands and the knight of wands is not not yet the king of wands but they have passion you're not you're not a page of wands where you're not you're very like not ready f like not yet ready for this you're just starting you don't have the skills with the knight of wands you already have some skills you probably are just overthinking it and just putting that skills into action so that you will learn throughout the process and um be this king of wands so you're not like a student here that doesn't know anything you do know you do have the skills you just have to put that into action and learn through experience experience is the best teacher <laughs> and we have the ocean the deep blue sea speaks to your soul um for whatever reason some people this would be related to like maybe traveling whatever this is you're thinking about maybe you're required to travel like it might probably be related to ocean like this job or career or somewhere near ocean the deep blue sea speaks to your soul healing and soothing you but and for some people as we have with the page of cups this could be just healing like maybe you need to if you can just picture that in your mind meditate on the ocean if you can literally go to an ocean i feel like that would be best because it's very healing but yeah yeah because it's the advice here the deep blue sea speaks to your soul 
healing and soothing you. Even the act of imagining yourself dipping in into its healing womb brings about desirable effects. Better yet, spend time physically near the ocean. Allow its power and beauty to wash away all cares and concerns. That's what we want to be washed away. Because we are overthinking. That's including myself there. And um, what you need to surrender. What you need to surrender. One more shuffle. Very fitting, isn't it? Surrender stress. <laughs> We're all just stressing about this. <laughs> We're all just overthinking and that's what we need to surrender. Once we surrender stress and this overthinking, whatever this is that we are overthinking about, we can now finally think clearly and um, finally plan properly toward whatever goals that we we want in our life surrender stre stress take a few deep breaths and exhale the tension you've built up in your body let the stress go as you come back to your center so really that's the message right now i don't think i have a good lighting but anyway thank you so much for watching this reading if you want to book a reading with me um yeah all my details are down below and i have a special seven dollar reading for the june for june 2018 so if you have just have one question one question that you want answered then um i'll link the video down below on how to do purchase that but if you want a personal one i do that too i do love readings too thank you so much for watching this video and sending you love and light. Now I'm doing the group two now. So bear with me. Wow. I made time, time stop this anyway. Oh, I didn't use this. Okay, anyway. Right. Okay. Right. For the people who've picked this feather here, this would be your reading. I hope you can see it with my with the blue feather. And my blue table. Okay. So why are you overthinking? If you didn't watch the first one, I'm asking people on what deck I should buy. And the first one, I will buy it. Or maybe the first two. <laughs> I um, just feel guided to do that. I feel like I might need a new deck. One more shuffle. Why are you overthinking? Why are we overthinking? I'm including myself. I am overthinking, so that's why I did this video. <laughs> I am overthinking whether I should do Sojak readings too on my channel, what kind of videos I should put out, like if I should change or, you know, all those things. So, if you think that's a good idea, please comment down below and help me decide. And also, if you have um, other pick-a-card reading ideas, comment it down below and I might choose random and, you know, 
whenever I am lack in lack of ideas on what kind of readings to do in the channel that my that's really will be helpful for me. So why are you overthinking? Ace of Swords in reverse. So I feel like for the people who picked this feather, the blue feather, you're overthinking because you might need to say something but you're holding back. For some people, you're being guided to live your personal truth but you're holding back. To live more in personal truth and to live more with integrity. For some people, this would be just someone that is holding that sword, cutting the cords, cutting ties with people. But you're overthinking it and you can't do it at the moment. You're stuck on something. For some people, it's, draw it's just basically drawing the line. Just saying finally saying no to people and starting the things that you're more drawn to you're more like it's more soul fulfilling so it's like taking that sword and not for some people it's not cutting away ties for some people you have to do that for some people it's not really cutting away ties it's more like setting proper boundaries with other people because whatever those those other people those external things external people in your life it's affecting you on how you think that's why you you're overthinking what else Okay, so this is the third, the second. Yeah, we have here the King of Swords. Be the King of Swords. You've transformed and you are transforming and it's part of your soul growth. You just cannot resonate anymore. Similar to the previous one, you cannot resonate anymore with, um, with the life that you have now. We're all transforming, we're constantly evolving. So it's embodying this King of Swords to be able to be transformed. Whatever that secret is, you just probably have to come out now. And um, I don't know why I'm thinking uh, like coming out of the closet, but it could be it could resonate with us with other people. It's part of you living your truth. Um. And um, you can be blunt and just be purely honest with this. And um, it might, like, um, I feel like it's more like being you being a very matter of factly. Like, this is what I want. This is my life. And this is what I want to do. And it might hurt other people and might overwhelm other people. But it's time to be the king of swords and take charge now. Look, you're overthinking because you don't want to abandon other people. You might need to move away from people and situations that doesn't resonate with you anymore. It's you probably have felt abandoned in your life and felt alone for quite some time. And you still do feel that sometimes, I think, for some. And... um. So that's why you don't want other people to experience the same thing too. But then again, we have here the um, Six of Pentacles. Balance in giving, receiving. You, you probably have too much into giving to other people. And you have to give back to yourself too. And um, taking this step, embodying this King of Swords. And speaking your truth, living your truth is... Just part of giving to yourself too. Giving to yourself what you deserve instead of just 
giving to other people. You might probably just really need to um, leave certain situation in your life, but you feel... I just feel like... I just feel like this sad energy, like suddenly my energy got, it has gone low and you're probably noticing the way I speak. That's just what I'm feeling with this. Like, it. this has to happen with this five of pentacles i mean these people whatever whoever this is they might probably you might not you probably are smothering them like too much i know you care for those people like by but but, do, but doing that by you're not really taking care of them because you don't give them chance to be able to take care of themselves and take charge on just being able to take care of themselves sometimes it's like that and um, this is like a hard approach it's like when um i, I cannot think of the term but it's like it's like like if you parenting another person if it's if you're literally are a parent and you're always have been there for your child but um they need to learn and they will learn from experience and um how are you gonna be able to do that if you're always there for them? How are they gonna learn with life? I feel like you probably are getting what, where I'm coming from. So what, whoever this people, certain person that's been relying too much to you and you know that they, you might need to let them go in their own way. And yeah, you probably are overthinking that. So... I hope that's resonating so far. And then, what else do we have here? <sighs> this is heavy energy, see you guys. I feel so heavy. Five of, um, five of cups in reverse. You're overthinking because there's so much sadness and and you feel like you're being draw, drowned and being so stuck in the chaos because uh, um, you currently are on the process of changing and transformation your lives are transformation and you might feel out of control too but that's just way how life is sometimes it's just if you you, can, you don't take the action you probably had a chance to take an action but now um it's like it might feel that life is happening to you now because um, the universe won't let you stay in a certain situation where you cannot transform and um, evolve with this king of swords here. That's why if it feels like you're being forced out in what forced out or whatever situation that you're holding on holding on to um it could be a certain job too for some people and um and related to this whoever this is this is a very strong message just coming up but you know 
this is this still this is still general reading so that might not resonate for anyone but then you feel really heartbroken about this with three of swords like you know you know it's just <laughs> it's just causing you so much pain and um i feel like it's blocking the happiness on whatever is ahead of you it it's like also what i'm getting now is that you should think that you should think of it in a different way because i feel like you're stuck in also with the negative thinking with the five of cups here instead of looking at the two cups you're you have you're looking at the three cups that have spilled so it's like look at this in a way that things might be falling apart and changing in your life but it's because things have to fall apart so that you can go towards something you need to look at the bigger picture you're you most probably are going towards something that is more aligned with your soul's purpose. You're like starting something fresh. Um, and with that, something that you have built might need to fall down. Like, um, if it's a, if it's a job, like you, like you probably, for some people, you probably are forced out of the job. Like, it's just not, it's just not working for you anymore. Or whatever the situation is, you might need to, you know, like you lost everything, your job. For some people, I'm getting that, L losing their job, losing this, um, this relationship, um, getting, moving homes. And it's, this is very painful and heartbreaking for you. But we have here the Empress card. What you probably are being like overlooked here is that you're going towards the Empress. The Empress is someone that's stepping into their power. And um, it's still are nurturing. I'm really getting that you're a very nurturing kind of person. Like you want to give, you most probably are an empath too. And that's just natural. But you need to set a certain boundary. And that's hard for me too. I'm still going through that. So I know how that feels. You, It's hard to say no to people. And um, But this is what you need to, do, to do. For some people, you're going towards this empress energy stepping into your own power for some people this is you taking action on to spe stepping into your power and um setting those boundaries that you haven't set before because it's just it's just causing you so much pain it's just um i feel like these cards are two opposites but with the empress here is this is what's possible for you and this is what where you're going towards whether you're aware of it or not that's probably why everything is like falling apart in your life right now and um hmm. i have the seven of swords usually <laughs> i don't really like this card too and people and readers would say this is someone that have cheated on you there's someone that have um for some people that might probably be the case is someone that someone that have, might probably have cheated on you um might have betrayed you like did something with ill intentions towards you um whether they're conscious about it i think they're they probably are conscious about it but that's just the way they they live their life at the moment and you know they have their own issues but for some people i feel like you have if that's not the case for some people i'm getting that you have um you are guilty towards you're feeling guilty towards accumulating things you feel guilty towards you feel like you're sneaking away from your responsibilities 
and you feel very responsible for whatever whoever this person is whatever this situation is you feel very responsible for them but then they they have to take their own responsibility for their own lives now and um it's yeah you just feel guilty towards you feel guilty like you feel some um this might sound weird but some people really do feel guilty towards achieving more success in a way and i feel like that might resonate for some people here um it's hard to explain it's not that you don't feel like that might be the case for some like you might not feel like you don't like you don't deserve it yeah you might feel like you don't deserve it but um it's like you're okay now with your life you're comfortable where you currently at and but you have so much potential that's why you feel but there's this sense of you feeling gu- guilty towards accumulating more for yourself and you might pro- that will probably feel like you are being selfish if you don't want to appear like that to pe- to other people and i feel like yeah that's definitely why you need to heal because if you don't go towards your potential you have so many creative talents and abilities and if you don't go towards your potential and what you're capable at, at like towards achieving that and taking action it's a form of self sabotage this is a self sabotage here and that's why you cannot go that's why you're feeling so much pain and you're overthinking and um just having this sadness because your soul know what you need what you, what you need and what you want in this life but it's yeah it's a form of self sabotage if you don't work towards it take action towards it that's why things might be falling apart in your life now you're being pushed out of this certain situation that you're currently in so yeah we have read a temperance card with this so basically the giving and receiving and um you pre- you are having spiritual guidance maybe through this video and through your own intuition you do have um those you do you do have guides angels and like people that have passed over that were probably around you and supporting you in this this is spiritual guidance this is what i'm getting with this aside from balance in giving and receiving so you shouldn't be afraid to go towards whatever this is because you're getting a lot of guidance you might not feel right now but you are because we have here the four of cups this is pr- i feel like this is you you're not really taking that guidance that are that is available for you you're still looking at these cups that's what's in front of you but you're not satisfied with what you have deep inside deep within you when you look deeper you're not satisfied with what, with what you currently have in your life your soul needs to grow and evolve more and you're being offered you have like you this some spiritual like this spiritual guidance is being offered to you but yeah you're not taking it so i feel like you just you have don't be don't feel guilty about taking this um help and asking help if when you need to and watching this video might probably be that help that is available to you in that advice but then you have to take action here 
there's this resistance to change and um, chaos and uh, that's why there's this chaos there's resistance to change you're not flowing with the changes so so what's the further advice for the people pick the second card just checking how long this video is right Okay, so what's the advice for you? I'm, I'm seeing sur release and surrender cards. So I didn't pick it, but it's like uh, probably a message, release and surrender. You, pro you really need to sur release and surrender this. And But the main message that we have here, release and surrender whatever this situation that you're currently in. Because it's, I feel like it's falling away anyway. And it might be hard and painful, but you're, it's painful because you're resisting it. Slowly, like it's like you're holding on too tightly on the rope and you feel like, it's like I'm imagining you are like holding on too tightly on the rope and there's this like um, a body of water here and um you feel like you're gonna drown if you let go of that rope but then i feel like in reality if you only just carefully just let go of that rope and you fall into that water it's not that deep anyway as much as it, as as much as you've expected it and you probably will enjoy swimming in the water <laughs> that's just what i i am seeing and the message for you is perfect timing. Now is the perfect moment for you to act on your inspirations. The doors are open while you walk through them with us by your side. Told you there's spiritual guides, angels helping you throughout this. You're not alone even though you might feel like it. The doors are open while you walk through them with us by your side. Don't delay or procrastinate. I know, I do that too. <laughs> As all of the ingredients are ripe for your success, everything and everyone is on your side supporting your positive outcome. This might be related to music <laughs> for you or maybe hmm, a career related to that. <laughs> Or just, it, it, or it, it, this might just be being more in harmony in your life, be more balanced. So, so, so. Hmm. Or I'm also getting here like self expression. Mm, like, express. Where's the power surrender cards? What you need to surrender? Two more. One more. So for the people, speak this. What do they need to surrender? Okay, okay. Very straightforward. Surrender to your success. What did it say here? The doors are open. While you walk through a uh, side by side by side. The doors are open now for this new beginning. That's why things might be falling apart in, in your currently in your life because doors are open. And um, don't stay in there anymore. You don't have to stay in there in there anymore. You're ready to experience abundance. Don't feel guilty towards this success. You're ready to experience abundance. Don't look back at previous roadblocks 
or difficulties leap into an exciting new world of possibilities. This is like stepping into the unknown. But think of it more or like more of like a surprise instead of stepping into unknown. Like you don't know what's there. It will be a surprise for you. It will, it could be overwhelming for you. But who knows what would what's on the other side when you don't really take the action to go go towards it. Doors are open. And I feel like hmm, I feel like I'm resonating with the messages here too. So that's the reading for you. If you want um, to book a reading with me, all my details are down below. I do love readings too or personal reading, whatever it is. Um, you need help too. Um, for this June 2018, I'm doing the $7 one question reading or $16 for three question reading. So if you want to purchase that, you can still do. And thank you so much for watching. I'm sending you all love and light. I hope this helped.